YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeannie, if you're new. I'm a certified holistic nutritionist and a certified personal trainer. Today, I'm going to be sharing my leg workout with you. So, I am about to go to the gym now. I'm gonna go downstairs and drink my pre-workout, but I wanted to, you know, tell you guys good morning. And I'm gonna do an activation first, because I always lead into my leg days with a glued activation, because if I don't, I am hamstring dominant. So if I don't activate my glutes, I get a hamstring workout, which is not a bad thing. You know, you should always work your hamstrings. But for me, since, you know, they automatically do most of the work, I try to activate my glutes as much as I can. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do. And then we will get straight into the heavy lifting of my leg day. I'm going to get super sweaty. So you guys don't don't judge me. <laughs> it's going to be rough. I hope you're prepared for this. Um, if you want to do it, the full workout is going to be in the description box below. So you can screenshot it and take it with you to the gym. Or if you want to do it at home, if you have your own home gym. A lot of people are doing that nowadays. Um, yeah. So like and subscribe. And hit the little notification bell so that you don't miss another video with me. Because if you don't hit the little bell, you won't get notified when I post more stuff. So, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put on my little hip circle. I'm gonna use a rubber one for this one. It's the heavy rubber one. I prefer this one compared to my fabric band for my activation. I'm gonna start out with some body weight squats and I'm just kind of focusing on keeping my knees outward and it's to wake up the side gluteus muscles which is the glute medius and glute minimus. And now I'm gonna do some jump squats and this is to get the blood flowing in my legs to really just kind of wake me up because this is first thing in the morning. I haven't been walking around much. I wake up and I go to the gym. So next I am going to do some kneeling fire hydrants. I believe the scientific term is quadruped fire hydrants where you are on all fours and I'm kind of going in every direction so you can see. I'm really just focusing on waking up that TFL and the glute medius and glute minimus. If I don't do these, my squat form is a little off. So I just like to activate the side glutes. Helps me with my form. Again, there's not really a rhyme reason to this. I just do what I feel is waking up my muscles. Now this, is also going to activate the TFL. And I'm taking slow movements side to side. It's really just focusing on my hips. And I'm aiming with my heels and not my toes. Another thing to wake up the side booty. Just kind of going back and forth. I usually go throughout the length of the interval room here, but so I don't have to move my camera, I'm just kind of going back and forth in front of the frame. <laughs> now these, I'm gonna get in a squat stance and these are called monster walks. And if you can see, I am aiming with my heels and really focusing on keeping low for the entire movement. This is really waking up the glutes. It's one of my favorite activations. And also I, I use it sometimes as a finisher, as a burnout at the end of my glute days. But this is just a regular leg day. We're gonna hit the glutes as well as the hamstrings and the quads. So I'm not gonna do this as a finisher. It's just gonna be my activation.
I'm also talking to my friend, Shay, while I'm recording this. So if you see me just kind of randomly talking, that's why. Always fun. It's good to have a gym buddy. If you don't have a workout partner, get it. It's really good to have accountability. Now this is a pull squat. I am focusing on keeping the tension in my glutes for the entire movement. This is gonna work the gluteus maximus, medius, and minimus. Really waking up now. And then the last activation that I do is just a glute bridge with an adduction at the end. So yeah, this is my activation. I do this before my leg days. Get the whole body warmed up. Get my heart rate up. And we can get into the rest of the workout. I hope you're ready. <laughs> All right, let's get started on the whole workout. So the first thing we're gonna do is three sets of eight hip thrusts. And you gotta make sure your knees are in a right angle. You don't, you know, tilt your lower back and you have to keep the bench right below your ribs on your back, right below your lats. You should be able to do a scapular push-up off of the bench to know you're in the right spot. And I have my toes angled out a little bit and this is just to help really engage the glutes. You're gonna use your glutes for this exercise. And if you feel it in your back, then you need to reposition yourself. And this is the third set here. And I'm gonna do eight reps and the drop set means I'm going to drop 50 pounds off of here and immediately go into eight more reps. And this is, this is killer <laughs> for your glutes. Like your butt cheeks will be on fire with this, especially with a drop set. And that's my buddy, Daniel. It's always good to have somebody helping you to take the weight off. Otherwise, you know, you'll have to get up, take it off yourself and then get back into position. But the point of the drop set is to not let your muscles really relax long enough to recover. So they're still pumped full of lactic acid and you go into eight more reps. Knees burn. Yeah, <laughs> it burned a lot. <laughs> the next thing we're gonna do is a pyramid set of squats. So this is just a warm up set. I always like to just do a warm up set with the bar, just to kind of um, tell my muscles what we're doing and get the form down right. If I need to like adjust my feet or anything, and I started out with my shoes on. And then halfway through these, I ended up taking my shoes off just to get, I guess, better kinetic chain activation in my heels. So the first set is going to be a set of 12. And I'm not starting out like super heavy with these. Um, I've been working on my, my squats for a while now, and I try to focus more on form rather than, you know, ego lifting and trying to put more weight on it. I don't really care what anybody thinks about me in the gym. I'm just there to, you know, get my workout done, build my muscles, build some strength. And... You'll know if a weight is good when you get to like the last couple reps. If you feel your knees start to go in a little bit, then it's it's too heavy. Or it could be like right at the perfect amount. If it's just the last rep, then you wouldn't want to do any more. But this is set of 10. It's 
pyramid set. So we're doing 12, 10, 8, 6, and 4. So five sets total. I don't think I recorded this whole thing because somebody ended up standing behind me in the way. So I don't think I recorded all 10 reps. <laughs> it happens, y'all. <laughs> Especially because I... This was recorded at like 9 a.m. And so the gym was pretty busy at this point. Next set. Really, I've just been adding like 10 to 15 pounds with each set because we're only decreasing the reps by two. So you don't want to go too, too heavy all at once. Kind of defeats the purpose of a pyramid set. So the next thing that we're going to get into is Romanian deadlifts. So I didn't put my shoes back on. This helps me engage my kinetic chain better. And I'm not going all the way down because I'm tall. And if I go all the way down, it's going to end up being a conventional deadlift and I'll bend my knees. So I'm just going to where I get a full stretch in my hamstrings and then coming back up don't want to go too far down because you'll end up pulling up with your back or you know rounding your shoulders or something like that so and you'll see me adjusting my pants a lot because these pants are actually too big on me so I had to keep pulling them up <laughs> So the next thing we're going to do is four sets of eight down and eight back. So it's 16 walking lunges total. And I tried to get this angle so that you guys could see I'm keeping my back straight up and I'm letting my knee tap the ground, not like slamming my knee on the ground. I'm not going to rest at the bottom. I'm just tapping it so I know that I've gone down far enough. No, at one point during these I actually ran into the hack squat machine that's right there because somebody moved it back and it's a lot closer than it was so there's me like trying not to hit it <laughs> This might be the one where I hit it. 
I left it in here because like, see, <laughs> accidents happen. And I just kind of had to catch myself and brace myself and just kind of go down into the lunge. Like, if anything, it made my stabilizers engage. <laughs> But it's a pretty narrow space where I'm doing these. So try not to hit the hack squat machine and I'm trying not to hit the mirror as well. <laughs> but these are going to work on your glutes and your hamstrings. Really lunges are like a full body workout because you have to maintain balance. You have to keep your back straight up and your heart rate gets really high when you're doing walking lunges. I was pouring sweat at this point. Now you can see the knee tap. Oop. Really aim with your heels when you're stepping. Don't put too much of your weight on your toes because you'll end up leaning forward. It takes practice. <laughs> this is my last set and so it, it steadily increases in the challenge and it's harder and harder. So instead of going like walking straight into the next lunge, I kind of stop and pause and recenter and get ready for the next one so that I don't, you know, make it sloppy. I'd rather have it right than do it sloppy. Reposition. This is the last set. couldn't do lunges. I worked on body weight lunges like three days a week just to be able to get the form right. We all start somewhere. <laughs> Almost done. The second to last exercise is going to be leg extensions. And this is working on the quads, which is your front muscle on your legs, on your thighs. And the most important part of this exercise is the squeeze at the top. And then this has a drop set. So you're immediately going to drop the weight in half and then do eight more reps. And like we did on the hip thrusts, it doesn't allow the muscle to really get rid of the lactic acid. So it burns, but the burn says it's working. This is the best way to really build strength and hypertrophy in your legs. If you don't know what hypertrophy mean, that, that means just to get bigger. <laughs> Those hurt.
there's me dancing. It's always good to have music in your ears. It kind of makes the workout, you know, better. It gets me, gets me going. The last exercise in this workout is going to be lying hamstring curls with a drop set, just like on the quad extension. So you do eight and then you drop it by half and you're gonna do eight more. And there are three sets of these in total. Your legs should be on fire by now. Mine were. I hope you guys enjoyed that leg workout. Um, I definitely did, and I'm walking like jello. So, hope you put in maximum effort. And you, if you enjoyed this, I'm so tired right now. <laughs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> I need a rest. I need a shower and a rest. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so it tells you next time I upload a video. Because if you don't hit the bell, you're not gonna get it. Please hit the bell. Share it, save it, keep it for later, screenshot, do this. You will thank me, your legs will thank me. Oh my gosh, get it done, y'all. Have a good one. See you next time. Oh my gosh, y'all. If the sun could just like leave me alone. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my app work or never mind. <laughs>